Welcome back. Now, it is the season to be jolly, but it's also sadly the time when criminals do take advantage of the relaxed, festive mood that we're all in. And so, while most people are on well-deserved breaks, criminals are working overtime. Correctional services officials say they, too, have their hands full over the holiday season, this due to staff shortages. Here's ENCS senior reporter Aisha Ismail with more. An unannounced raid at the Drakenstein Maximum Security Prison to look for drugs and dangerous objects. But most importantly, to also check um, the documents that uh, our offenders normally keep. We find uh, records uh, of some transactions, but we're also looking at messages that might be communicating plans for escapes. Among those held here are rapists, murderers and armed robbers. We found the electrical wires, um, a lot of them that are not allowed in here, that can be used to cause harm to other offenders. We also found cell phones, we found chargers. He says many are gangsters and their tattoos tell a story of their rank and activities. But some of those guarding the prisoners are also engaged in crime, like smuggling in drugs, money and cell phones and regular surprise checks have exposed many. It happens every day. Uh, firstly, when they come to work, they get searched. Um, we also get information about some of them, those ones we follow for quite some time, and the success rate is actually 99%. What saddens me is that on a weekly basis, we get to nab one or two, and that, is, that leads to a disciplinary hearing most of them don't come back, they lose their jobs. But the problem is, some of them still continue with these uh, activities. Tobakali says when crime in the country intensifies, so too does criminal activities in prisons, especially now when many staff members are on a break. Aisha Ismail, Drakenstein.